if you consider a positive externality, problem with the positive externality, remember, is that we don't produce enough of the good. There's an under provision. So we need to put in place some sort of incentive to encourage more consumption, more production of the product. And as we saw in an earlier chapter, it doesn't matter if you give that subsidy to a consumer, give that subsidy to a producer, the outcome will be the same. And I think the easiest thing to do here is to give the subsidy to the consumer. Without the subsidy, remember the consumer's willingness to pay curve is given by this demand curve. But if we give them a subsidy, a per unit subsidy, which is equal to the value of the external benefit, and in particular, if we're talking about a per unit subsidy equal to the external benefit for per unit, what this will do is shift the demand curve up by the value of the subsidy. Like we said, if we're setting that subsidy equal to the per unit external benefit, now the consumers will, when deciding whether to buy more of this product or not, more flu vaccinations for instance, the consumer will be willing to pay the producer more for each and every flu shot that they receive. As a result, we'll reach the new market equilibrium, which will get us to Q star units. This is going to be efficient because we will realize more gains from trade, which will increase total surplus in the market. A subsidy can be used, and in this case, again, what's uh, named after the economist Pigo, it's referred to as a Pigovian subsidy. Subsidy can be used to increase welfare within the market. Notice we're not suggesting that everyone gets the flu shot. If we wanted everybody to get the flu shot, that would suggest that we, let's say, require this many flu shots. But as you can see, that's not optimal because the true social cost of that last flu shot would exceed the true benefit. Excuse me, this would be the true benefit right here. The true benefit to society of the last flu shot received. This is a waste of resources. Okay, so you don't want everybody to get it. There is an optimal amount of flu shots to be given. Now, if we don't want to use a subsidy, we could do a command and control policy. You want more people to get vaccinations, you want more people to get flu shots, we can put our feet down or fist down and say, you have to get this flu shot, you have to get these childhood vaccinations, immunizations, if you want to attend school here at UNC. So this would be something where through command and control, we will encourage more people to get consume this particular good. So those are examples of some government solutions to the externality problem.